Miss Lane, how are you? I'm okay. Would you like me to explain how this hearing is going to work? Thank you, Mr. Hanson. That's quite simple, really. You'll be called at the end of your shift. You'll take a seat in front of the panel. And you'll be asked to give a full account of the day in question, describing all of the events leading up to the time of Mrs. McKinney's stroke. Sometimes, when I get nervous, I muddle my words up. Then you must take your time. It was my fault, wasn't it? That's not how we work here. We're a team. But I still have some hope that this hearing can be avoided. Miss Campbell won't change her mind. It's her mom. Excuse me. Professor Hope, your complaint was born out of personal griefness. With the reality of the hearing so close, I'm hoping that some of the anger will have subsided by now. I can assure you, you will not lose face. It is not too late to withdraw. The implication that I have been ruled by emotion on this is false. My action is for the long-term benefits to patients. This evening can't come soon enough. When the wheels are put in motion, they'll be hard to stop. Why not avoid a nasty civil war before it starts? The casualties of which will be some very valued members of our staff. If I didn't know you better, I'd say that was an attempt at emotional blackmail. No, I think not. Actions have consequences. Think seriously about a change of heart, Miss Cam. There is still time. There needs to be accountability. Of course we. I can never... Mr. Hanson. Dr. to low a moment, please. <clears throat> I've had a phone call from Roxana McMillan. She says you failed to attend neurology yesterday and she was concerned. Uh, things came up. Well, I've taken the liberty of rearranging it for this afternoon. Sure. Well, be sure, please. We don't want another missed appointment doing. I've written a time down for you. Important to be prompt, I think. Clamp, please. He deliberately misled us. Well, you got the scent of a story. Thoroprodine and suction, please. You realise the implications, don't you? I think so. The clinical director of an NHS trust places her mother in private care while she's using a legal procedure to attack her own workplace in media terms. That's a story I believe they call juicy. And cherry on his cake, you were slow to recognise his condition. It was discovered in time. Ah, there it is. Four sips, please. Can I rely on your support? I always support my staff. Let's hope we can nip it in the bud. I think the situation is affecting your concentration. Why don't you take a couple of hours off? Ah, it's a little brute. So the way to stop a sharp, nagging pain is simply to remove it. Must have broken off when they stabbed him. No, he didn't even know it had happened. Thick skin, eh? Right, let's get a suction drain on the renal bed, please. I accept your apology. 